For my job, I read lots of scientific papers. And for my videos here, I also read lots of papers. And not a lot of people know how I find the right ones to read, so let's go over it. For the sake of this video, let's just take a recent video I made as an example. I was asked in a comment to make a video about eternal inflation. And while I do know a bit about this, let's pretend I don't know anything about it. So the first place I would start is Wikipedia. Now, before everyone freaks out, Wikipedia is actually a pretty good source for well-established physics and mathematics. It has lots of references and often even has a substantial amount of mathematics. So my first step will be to just read that article, just to get an idea of what's going on, perhaps skipping parts I already know. Now after I've read this article, I'll scan it for landmark papers that are discussed. Often these are mentioned either in the intro or in the history section. In this case, they were in the intro, so now the game is on. If we're lucky, the cited papers will be recent enough to have DOI numbers. If you're situated at a university, you're golden. You can probably just Google the DOI and it'll take you to an official source where you can read the paper. If the topic is physics or mathematics and it's from after the year, say, 2000, it's pretty likely you can actually find a preprint copy of the paper on the archive spelled A-R-X-I-V. If you include the title in the Google search and that name, you'll probably find what you're looking for. If not, here's where things get a bit sketchy. There's two websites that I'm definitely not recommending, and these are Sci-Hub and Library Genesis. Don't go looking for these, they definitely cannot be found on websites like Google. In fact, I've heard that nefarious ne'er-do-wells steal and upload scientific papers and textbooks on these websites, even ones that are quite old. For the former, I've been told that you basically just need the DOI number to find anything, but of course you won't do that because it's illegal. On the latter, it sounds like you can just type in the name of the research paper and search under scientific articles and you'll find it that way. But of course I wouldn't know as that's not something I've ever done. Now of course once you've obtained your papers entirely legally, you're done, unless you need to go reference hunting, in which case the whole process begins again. As an aside, I wasn't joking when I said I read lots of papers for my videos, not pop sci articles. For any aspiring science communicators out there, I'd highly recommend this route, otherwise you're just repackaging what other people wrote. 